Texas at Kansas State. Kansas State, a two-and-a-half-point home dog in this one. Um, kind of surprising, especially with the way that they just beat the doors off of Oklahoma State last week. But uh, the line is what it is. Of course, the talent is there, etc. cetera. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time on FS1, so it's a night game in the Little Apple. And I got to tell you, uh, I look at these numbers, and I was a little shocked. A big part of this has to do with roster strength, etc. I want to see what Quinn Ewers does on the road here. Um, I'm sure that Texas was embarrassed by losing to Oklahoma State and then watching Oklahoma State go out and uh, get trounced by this same team. But my number says one thing, and my head says something else. Kansas State is really good at throwing the football, it looks like. Right, especially lately. This is over the past five weeks. These numbers are, and I see number six in PPA per pass. I see number thirty-four in passing success rate. Number three in, excuse me, passing explosiveness. And what I see is that they only throw the ball forty-three point nine percent of the time in the past five weeks. They don't do it often. Uh, they're able to run the ball really successfully. Um, but they, you know, it hasn't been great over the past however many weeks. They're super explosive. They're number 109 in success rate, excuse me, is Kansas State. But number 55 in PPA per rush, number 5 in rushing explosiveness. You saw Deuce Vaughn go crazy on some long runs. Uh, Texas' defense is pretty good here. You know, number 25 in offensive line yards allowed, number 27 in PPA per rush. Uh, they've got athletes. they got dudes. Uh, they're pretty good against the explosive play, and when you flip it back down and look at the offense here, I I can see ways that Texas can exploit Kansas State's defense. So, uh, Texas' offense does not allow Havoc at all. They're number six in Havoc rate allowed. They're number 30 in PPA per pass. They're not super explosive, but they are number 29 in explosive play rate, uh, as far as their passing offense is concerned. And Kansas State's defense is number 81. So you can get them over the top there. I think the biggest thing here is can you lull in Kansas State's offense? Standard downs rate, uh, standard downs PPA, excuse me, Texas is number 21. And Kansas State's defense is number 49. So if Texas can get some of those eh, second and short, third and short, whatever it is, you can take some chances there. And I think they can find ways to to win this ball game. And if they're going to win the ball game, then I would expect them to cover two and a half, even on the road. I will take Texas here. And I feel ridiculous for doing that because I just saw them on the road against the team that they probably should have beaten and and they weren't able to do it. So I'm going to go back to the well. I trust Quinn Ewers. I trust that team. I think they're going to be able to get this thing turned around and win some of these games that maybe they're not supposed to, which I know that they're favored in the spot, but regardless. uh, I like Texas here. I'll I'll take them again. Texas minus 2.5 is my play on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.